You see, the good news is that the Lord Jesus Christ came. And when Jesus came, He didn't come to do away with the law. He came to fulfill the law. He became our high priest. That's why I want to invite you today to give your heart to Jesus. Because when you give your heart to Jesus, it's not about the law, it's about the love that you have in your heart concerning all that God has done for you in Christ Jesus. It doesn't make the law irrelevant. What it does for those of us who have given our hearts to Jesus Christ, when we love God completely, what it does is it means that we are giving ourselves to Him completely. And that's what He wants. Most wives and husbands will say to you, you know, I love you and I thank God for the beautiful house that you give me and for the paycheck that we get and for the lovely holidays that we go on. And I thank you for all the status and I'm very grateful for the new kitchen sink. But what I want from you, my husband, is you. The biggest difficulty in marriage today We want to give our wives everything, but you don't seem to understand, sweetheart, who bought that motor car for you. I did. And can you imagine if you hadn't married me, you would never have gone to Myrtle Beach. And don't you seem to understand all the things that I do for you and the places that I take you and the beautiful house that I give to you, and, the, and she is not saying to you, no, those things are irrelevant. I don't care about it. I don't care about your hard work. I don't care about your status. She's not saying I don't care about these things. But what she's trying to say to you and to me is, the thing that I want more than anything else is you. So, of course, here come the scribes and the Pharisees. <laughs> and these guys, they were debating in the preceding verses. They really thought they had Jesus because they wanted to talk about marriage and when someone dies, you know, who does the widow belong to if she's been married more than once? And Jesus had to remind them the bad news for some and the good news for others, and that is that when we get to heaven, there is going to be no marriage. You didn't have to say amen to your husband in the middle of the church service. Because we're going to be perfect. Why is there going to be no marriage? Because in heaven there's no need for possession. It's not even going to be in our minds. Nobody belongs to anybody. Everything belongs to Jesus. It's not going to matter. There's no such thing as mine. Everything's going to be about Him. Him. 